Hello people, uh, my name is Aldin. I'm a mod maker from Bosnia and Herzegovina, like you see on the national flag behind me. <clears throat> Tonight I'm here uh, to talk about a new mod that I created recently. It's called uh, the Zora mod. Uh, this one is made out of uh, oak body with beach uh, top and bottom cap. Uh, the special thing about this mod is uh, that it can run the batteries in a 4.2 or 8.4 volt mode. Uh, this mod is made uh, to run with 18650 batteries. It's crucial to, uh, to use high drain uh, batteries, good batteries, safe batteries. In there right now I use the LG HG2s, uh, which working really fantastic and the 3000 mAh each is is giving you plenty of plenty of uh, battery life. Uh, I also use them uh, with the VTC4, VTC3 series from Sony, uh, which are widely known as probably the best uh, batteries for vaping. Uh, the game plan for tonight is uh, that I will show you the mod, and uh, we will dive down uh, close uh, to the close-ups with the mod. I will show you how to disassemble it. Uh, how to set up the mod in 4.2 volt mode or 8.4 volt mode. I will talk about it uh, a little bit more uh, so you all know what you are getting into. Uh, first off I would like to say that I would uh, never recommend this mod to a new vapor. Uh, like I, I wouldn't uh, recommend any mechanical mod to a new vapor since uh, we all know uh, that there are, are too many things that could go wrong uh, from the choice of the batteries over to making coils and uh, all the other jazz so uh, this product is only for experienced vapors so people uh, here we are uh, up and close with the Zora mod I will show you now how to set up the mod in the certain modes that it can run in. So by doing that uh, I need uh, first off to say uh, that uh, the only uh, cap that needs to be removed is the top cap and uh, from the top cap uh, on uh, uh, everything else uh, can be set up so you can assemble the mod from the top. So the bottom is uh, removable too but uh, it uh, probably won't be needed ever to remove but you can if you want so now all we need uh, to disassemble this mod and to set it up in different uh, power modes is uh, one Phillips set screwdriver and uh, we take out uh, a screw off the uh, top the top two uh, screws like this so they out now we can remove the cap. Uh, you will see uh, underneath the cap there is uh, another wooden plate. Uh, this uh, wooden plate uh, is um, used uh, to assemble the different uh, copper plates on it. Uh, so for example if you want to run it in 4.2 volt mode you need uh, this piece which has um, the wood as the cutout here which you can slide the copper piece in. It has also uh, a bent in there if you can see so we uh, pop it in so this is for 4.2 volt mode so that's basically finished with the top cap uh, for 4.2 volt mode we also need this please which is the uh, long copper plate uh, and it goes in uh, like this uh, if you watch here you can see a marking, a black marking. Uh, the black marking indicates where the uh, 510 connector sits on. So, you have also the uh, black marking here, which is on the 510 side. So the black marking goes on the black marking when assembled. Okay, and now opposite of the black marking, if you set it up in a parallel mode, goes the long plate, the long copper plate. So, it just slides in. And that's it. Uh, now, we, now we can uh, insert the batteries. The batteries go uh, both uh, positive side uh, up or negative side down inside the mod, like this. Both batteries. 
this uh, are AG, uh, LG HG tools. So now, uh, to assemble now the top cap, again we need to watch for the black uh, marking and the black marking on the top cap. So, uh, we just set it on, like this, and basically only screw down the screws. Okay. Make sure not to over tighten the screws since there is no need uh, for over tightening. Just finger tight and uh, no need to go rowdy on that. So this is it basically assembled in 4.2 volt mode. Now let's check out uh, one atomizer. Uh, this is the like you probably all know the uh, clone of the <laughs> the clone of the velocity, but it's the mini size. That's why I was uh, very attracted to it. Okay, so it screws on. Uh, inside is a um, uh, 0.6, I believe, ohm build. So this is it in 4.2 volt mode. And if you press the button, we see vapors coming out. So let's have a quick talk. Yeah, the call is rather dry. I need to juice this thing up. So this is it basically in 4.2 volt mode. Was easy, right? Now, um, now we remove everything again, and I will show you how to assemble the mod in 8.4 volt mode. So screws off, battery cap off. Now, battery is out. One, second two. Now, uh, the long plate out, and we need to remove uh, the long plate from the uh, five ten, uh, from the top cap. So these two plates are for 4.2 volt mode. To set it up in 8.4 volt mode, we need now these the second set of uh, of uh, the brass plates, the eight shape one, which has uh, those. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I like to say nipples, <laughs> nipples up top. Uh, so they go in first and you only need to make sure that the nipple side are pointing up. Okay, now they pointing up. Uh, now the battery is going like this. Uh, like uh, you may remember the marking, the black marking is where the 510 uh, connector sits on. So uh, on the opposite side of that marking we go uh, uh, battery positive down first and on the 510 side we go uh, positive up so negative down okay like this so on the 510 connector you have the battery uh, positive pointing up and on the switch side the battery negative pointing up so the second uh, plate we need is this small shape one the C shaped one and it slides on uh, on the switch side so it just slides on here, just press it in and you are basically ready to go. So now we need to uh, again watch for the marking at the top cap. The black marking goes to the black marking of the uh, body. So you will always be uh, correctly assembled. Uh, now the screws go again back in. We screw him down once more. Again, to mention, just finger tight, it doesn't need to be especially hard screwed on. So now this is the mod assembled in 8.4 volt mode. So for 8.4 volt, uh, we all need we need a certain build for it. It's a lot of power running through the coils. So this mod. Uh, this atomizer I have set up for the 8.4 volt with uh, dual Clapton coils. We all know dual cl uh, Clapton coils need a little bit of ramp up time, and uh, the 8.8.4 uh, volt mode uh, will reduce that uh, ramp up time significantly. So now, trying to fire it. Yep, fires very nice. So let's have a wave on 8.4 volt. Nice, tasty, dense clouds, man. <coughs> really enjoyable. 
I like the 8.4 volt mode. Now I'm perfectly fine to go up again in FaceTime and I will talk a little bit more about the mod up there. So, peace. Welcome back up guys. Uh, like you've seen, um, I showed you how to set up the, mo uh, the mod in certain modes. Uh, it's rather easy once you get uh, the hang of it, you need to do it once or twice and uh, you won't need any instruction manual or something like that. Uh, the mod will come uh, with a detailed uh, instruction manual. And uh, what I forgot uh, to say uh, about the plates too, uh, the plates, they will come marked uh, also, so you know uh, which plates uh, are for which mode. For example, the two piece, the, uh, pieces that uh, you need for, uh, for 4.2 volt mode uh, will be marked as 4.2 uh, volt mode and the 8.4 volt uh, plates will be marked as 8.4. Um, so uh, not to get any confusion in there. Uh, like you've seen, uh, the mod is uh, fairly simple to assemble, it's a simple mod. Uh, the performance of it, um, it's really nice. But I can't really judge that, I let uh, always the customer uh, say that and uh, the response uh, for, for, uh, for now is uh, very very positive. Um, not many people have issues with my mods and I'm rather proud of that. I do my best uh, always when I'm making these mods. I put my heart and my soul in it. And uh, my old customers all know that I uh, like to talk to them about their wood choices, about their 510 choices and all the other jazz. Um, uh, I do take uh, a lot of pride in making these mods and I hope uh, that transfers uh, in the mods and uh, in the quality and uh, the, the performance of them. Also what I wanted to talk about is uh, that uh, this mod, uh, like m any uh, mechanical mod, is not uh, suited for beginning uh, beginner vapors. Uh, there's a lot of um, things uh, that are involved uh, in uh, setting these uh, mods up and uh, there's many things that uh, people can do wrong uh, when they're new to vaping from uh, the battery choices to the coil builds they use they can they can maybe make really really low ohm uh, builds and run 8 volt through them and they have an amp draw of 70, 80, 100 amps and that will only cause problems and uh, as things uh, stand in the uh, in vaping in the world right now uh, we don't need any uh, any accidents happening and I'll do my best uh, to prevent prevent it so uh, the mods I sell I only sell to experienced vapors um, both modes uh, work nice, the switch is always the uh, same throw. Uh, me personally prefer the uh, parallel mode since I really need the battery life when I'm out and about. And I don't have to think about uh, do I need now to swap the batteries or change the coils or atomizers. I just need something that lasts me. And uh, with the AG2s I get easy two days of uh, of vaping out of out of the out of the mod, which I'm more than happy about. So this was the tutorial on the Zora mod. Now, if you have any questions about the Zora mod, you can comment in the video below, or uh, you can shoot me a message on Facebook, WhatsApp, or Instagram. I will have the links uh, to those in the video description also. And. Uh, I hope you liked uh, this tutorial and if you did, uh, please like it, uh, share, subscribe and if not, I don't know, erase it, block me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this was fun and I'm a little bit nervous about the camera right now since um, I'm, this is the first time actually I'm, I'm making this um, uh, tutorial with FaceTime and all the jazz. So I hope I don't uh, come over uh, as too nervous or something like that. So one more uh, wave before we call uh, this wrap. Wave on.